Yeah, I was gonna say that has to drive them along. Well, the Garmin just now gave me a little ding and it popped up, need a break. So it's telling me, you know, you've been driving a while. And well, this is what we do typically when we're having a travel day is we stop at a rest stop after we have been going for a while and take our lunch here. Uh, just right at the dining table. Uh, today we're going to have leftover pizza. Yep, going to warm it up in the microwave. And this just gives you an idea of how we keep it easy and simple. A day in the life of a Prevo RVer. when I'm bringing the front front slide out that we're not too close to that. I don't think we're gonna, we'll probably only get about that far away from it. But it's just have a, yeah, good to have another set of eyes. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we're gonna be bringing the rear slide out first. There's nothing to walk away. Yeah, we have a lot of room over here. We're good, we're good over here. Absolutely. And now Zach's going to go through a leveling process. So you're leveling things up, Zach? Yeah, we're pretty level. We just need a little bit over here. Okay. Nice level sights. Much better than the last time. Yeah. I can feel the coach going up. Down on this side. What do you think? That is perfectly level. Yay! This is a really pretty site. So there is like an owner's casita and then this outdoor kitchen. That is lovely. A grill. So pretty. Kitchen 527 here in South Haven, and it just looks like a little cute restaurant pub, and we're gonna have fun, enjoy it. Yeah. Looks like yummy food just in downtown. Check it out. So I'm going with the suggestion. The waitresses suggested the walleye is what they're known for, and Zach has gone with her suggestion also, blue cheese burger with some bacon jam, and that sounds really great too. So make sure you do sunset out here at South Haven. It's absolutely beautiful, right at the pier.
Wow, this is one of the prettiest RV slots that we've seen. I love that see-through uh, bar into the kitchen. That is a great setup. And look, they even have a awning here to kind of keep it more shaded. And there are waterfalls next to that chimney. Oh, this is the one that's got the hole up. Oh, it's so cute. That is beautiful. What a great water feature. Yeah, super cool fire pit. Right here on the open water. Very tranquil. Yeah, so the tree provides all the shade for over there. The RV is going to provide the shade for each year. That's true. Yeah, so that's, probably, yeah. that's true. Look at that. Is that the coolest? The water coming out of the fireplace sides. That is so cool. Love it. You're looking pretty relaxed over there. In this spot, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. I think the best view for sitting is going to be down there around the fire pit. You do? Yeah. Wow, it's just beautiful. Linda and I had a Japanese maple like this in the second house we ever owned, and we loved it. And here it is. So I don't know, is that a omen or what's going on? We will find out. Well, tonight, just right down from the pier, we're gonna be having dinner at Taste. I, I can't help myself. I hope it's tasty at Taste. I mean, there you go. what do you expect from me? So Taste is just right here on the corner, just right down from the pier. Yep. Lunch, dinner, and small plates. We'll see how it is. This looks nice, Matt. Oh, it's a neat looking place, but man, is it loud in here. Wow. We'll see. I see the Olympics over your shoulder. So I got the beef tips and a blue cheese pear salad. And Zach with his sushi. Listen, guys, I mean, first looks good. I get it. I admit that. But I'm sorry, I won tonight. Look at this sushi. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah, baby. Sushi, man. This is the good stuff. I don't know. I think I won. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. What do you think? Well, there you have it. Empty dishes. Zach, what do you think? It was delicious. I have been so hungry. For some sushi, man. I got it tonight. Yeah. It was delicious. Make sure you check out Taste when you come to South Haven. Well, this shows you how lovely of a park this is. This is the morning. Zach and Winston are just taking it in over there. Love these views. And this is the other side of our coach. And Great morning sun right here. What a great spot. Look how pretty this is. Just wanted to show y'all from the coach what we get to enjoy. It is beautiful. So this is one of my favorite things to do in the morning is have the bedroom windows up, especially when we're at such a great place like this. So you can just look out the windows and see the morning sun coming up just right here in the bedroom. So pretty show you around over here this is this side 
and sun's coming up the flowers are blooming it is just really pretty that is our how we wake up in the morning here in the Prevo. Well, here is our site here in South Haven. And Zach is setting us up with some umbrella shade. Hey, you gotta have some shade. Even on a morning like this, it's still nice. Yeah, it's really a bright sunny morning. So we're gonna just enjoy our coffee and Check all this out. Look at the pond, right? It is so beautiful. I love running water. That is so pretty. So this is what, these are the kinds of things we do in the morning, living in a Prevo. It's not a bad life, huh, Zach? It is not. What kind of temperature do you think it is? You know, it's probably about 70 right yeah, now it is so, it's so a pleasant a little bit warmer for the mornings we've been out here but you know 70 i mean goodness it's awesome yeah awesome thank you I'm gonna figure out how to make this tilt that is a great morning spot for coffee as well i just love hearing that water running that is awesome Winston's liking it. What do you think? He's like, yeah, these plants are nice. Hey, pretty sweet. I know Zach, that you got any insight this morning? About I have got future, coffee. We also know I am a watching a little of uh, the, the news to see what's going on in the world. And then I'm going to escape it all and go back into my little reality of RV life. Well, there you go. Yeah. So you and Winston kind of like to hang there? Yep. You're my, the dynamic duo. My RV dog right here. There you go. Okay. So we're making some breakfast this morning for Linda and I. I've got some sausage going on, a couple of uh, link sausages as well. And we have a gagging off cooktop here, which is electric. And I've always been a gas guy, so I'm trying to get used to the residual heat on the electric top, but I'm there. You know, I'm really comfortable with it. So we'll have this, uh, maybe a cup of coffee, and uh, go take it out on the front patio this morning and enjoy the sunrise. It's been a, a nice, cool morning out there. A little dewy. In fact, there was a, a, a haze coming off the lake this morning with a temperature dif difference. But uh, it's so nice to have a kitchen right here ready to go. We've got a microwave up here that's also a convection oven. And down below there, one of my wife's favorite things. So oh, got a, this is mine. Oh, it's going right now. Yeah. Yep. Got a dishwasher. I just started a few minutes ago. So it's in its thing and going. So yeah. Perfect. We are heading out to the South Haven South Beach and we're going to have a beach day. It is lovely out there. It's really close to downtown and parking is very accessible. But wow, just want to show you it's such a beautiful view here in our coach. Like that's a lot to walk away from. And we were talking to folks who live in this neighborhood and they just really enjoy spending time down there at the end behind this water area we're gonna have a big beach party there tonight all the residents are gonna come out and they're gonna have music live music and sounds like a great time so lovely park we're really enjoying it what do you think Winston yeah you kind of like this RV lifestyle don't you you're into the luxury motor coach community Yep. You and that flipped ear. I'm not sure why you love to do that, but you do love doing that. So the South Beach parking was way too crowded. So I believe this is considered Dykeman Beach. It's just on the other side. So there is public parking over here you can pay for. And we are headed out for a beach day. 
Well, the beach is incredible and the water is the perfect temperature. It's nice and cool, but not too cool. But wow, what a fun day at the beach. Highly recommend this place. Okay, we are at Clementine's and they are supposed to be known for their onion rings that they bring out on a big tall pole. And so we're going to have that this afternoon. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll show y'all a Voila, the onion rings and mushrooms are here. So this is what they're known for, are their stacks of onion rings. Now, guys, this is the small one. This one is only six inches. They make a one that's 12 inches. And Linda, you heard about the mushrooms, right? Yes. And that's more mushrooms than I can eat, but oh well, give it a good try here. Well, the fried mushrooms were delicious, and it was homemade ranch sauce, so love that as well. Now, after this, we're going to go check out that ball back there. See what it looks like. All right, are you guys all going to order right now, too, or not yet? Yeah, we're cheap as funny. Well, it doesn't have money in there anymore, but it still has valuables. Well, this is really nice having the awnings out and gives a lot of protection from the sun here. And this evening, people are enjoying just time out on the water. We've got some steel drums going on out there too. We are just enjoying a lovely evening outside and chilling to some Calypso music. Well, life is pretty sweet. Watching the Olympics and having this fabulous water view as the sun starts setting out here. I like it. Yep. What do you think, and Zach? We've got pizza cooking, so we're gonna have pizza here in just a minute. It is a night in tonight. So I have put together a pizza and Zach is going to cut it before we put it in the convection oven. We like a lot of meat with onion and it's easier if we half it before we put it in there. So this is how we cook pizza in our bread oven. Yep. Linda's got some great onions on it and I love onions but man they are just <laughs> Killing my eyes right now. Oh, are you crying? Honey? I am. I am crying. Did I bring you to tears? I think I cut the pizza and it just brought you me to told tears. You that you'd really love onion. You oh, I, I do. <laughs> it's just not love in my eyes. It's a strong onion tonight. It's a go in. Come out. It is hot. You want to kind of grill it on that? That's how you want it done? Yeah, that way air gets up underneath the bottom of it, makes it nice and uh, crispy. Right? How about you guys? But I like thin, crispy crust. Unless I'm in Chicago. And if I'm in Chicago, I'll take, take some nice deep, deep dish. Chicago style pizza in wow that grill is hot. I know firsthand now. <laughs> Woo. 
dropping all the good ingredients Linda got for it, but that's, here we go. All right, it's in. Enter the time, we'll put in 15. I probably won't take that. And there it goes. Mm -hmm. Except for I just messed up. Start. Hit the wrong buttons. Okay. That's that's good. Okay. We're in pizza. I'll be ready soon.